Spark Ideas by the Nerd Girls at IBM Connect 2013. This one, Andy Donaldson and Finding Your Camera. He takes great pictures. So next up, we have Andy Donaldson on Finding Your Camera. Uh, okay. Um, I've had probably seven or eight different ideas in mind on how I was going to approach this. And after you know, hearing this and what happened Sunday, I think it just boils down to life is short. Okay, Find a passion and run with it. Because we're, we're only here for so long, folks. You know? But that's, I mean, that's the message I want you to leave with. But you know, a couple of years ago, it, it was just that rut that we all get into when we have a family, right? You know, my, I work, my wife works. Uh, the kids were younger. Um, go to work, come home, make them dinner, do laundry, do bills, blah, 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 blah. You know, you log into the laptop, the work laptop, just to make sure nothing was broken, you know. Just kind of that day in, day out thing, right? Well, we got to go back a little bit farther, though. Back in the 80s. Uh, I was fortunate enough to go to a high school that taught black and white photography. So I started doing it, and I just loved it. Uh, I wanted to be the next Ansel Adams, okay? Uh, so I was taking pictures, and I was going to be, yeah, I'm going to be a great photographer. Um, but what I found out was, in the long run, I really wasn't that good. You know, I could take pictures, I could develop them, but... Yeah, it wasn't that good. See, the problem was I was spending too much time trying to be Ansel Adams. I wasn't spending any time trying to be me, okay? So time goes on, kind of lose interest in it a little bit, uh, had to sell some equipment to pay rent, you know, things like that. Yeah, time goes on a little bit more, get married, have the kids, and of course, what do we do when we have kids? We get cameras and take pictures of them, lots of pictures of them, because we want to get every possible moment of their lives documented uh, to embarrass them later, of course. Um, Oh yeah, so yeah, then you know, we started getting cameras. Digital had just come out about this time, and it's like, wow, okay, cool. You know, start taking some pictures with these digitals instead of only having a certain amount of, you know, shots on a roll of film. When I go out shooting every day, I got you know a whole bunch more on here. I can fit 500 on you know a little SD card. Okay, cool. We start going on vacations, and every now and again, we'd be like, oh, I kind of like the way that looks. Click. And I kind of just slowly started getting this bug again to where I finally ended up buying <laughs> one of these. Uh, actually, it's my second one. The one before this one broke. Uh, and just started taking pictures. And then I started taking pictures of the world around me. Um, like a little town up there on the right hand, or yeah, that side of uh, the screen, the right hand is a little town called Zor. Okay. Just to go down there, just go for a walk and take pictures. Just, oh, I like the way the light looks on there. I was finding me, okay? I found my camera. I found my style. I stopped trying to be somebody else and started being me. And really enjoyed how it started coming out. So, um, again, with that town up on the right there uh, in Zor, like I said, go down there, take pictures. Well, Zor's in trouble. Uh, Zor basically is, they're either going to fix a levy to save the town or they're going to tear the town down and get rid of it. Um, so they got this National Trust for Historic Preservation. It's a national nonprofit group to help the town and list it as one of the endangered places in America. Um, well, the people that run the campaign use social media quite a bit, and they use Flickr. And they went for a search on Flickr for stuff tagged with Zor. I have approximately 1,600 things tagged with Zor. Uh, they have a lot of Civil War reenactments there. And when there's a reenactment, I just go through a lot of pictures. Uh, and I tag it all with Zor. But I also take pictures of the town. And they said, uh, hey, can we use you know, your pictures? I'm like, oh, yeah, OK. Hey, I'm not making any money off of this. I don't want to. You know, my thought is, I'm leaving, hopefully you're going to leave a mark on this world, okay? Hopefully, 150 years from now, one of those pictures will be hanging on a wall somewhere. That's what I want. Um, that's what I want my kids to remember me as. I don't want my kids to remember me as, oh, that guy knew how to type load compact minus B, <laughs> mail, slash, username, enter. 
<laughs> he knew how to do that. No, no. I mean, yes, that's important, though. It keeps the roof over our heads. It keeps me fed. And I love the company I work for. I truly do. I truly do like what I love what I do. But passion-wise, this is what I really love to do. So, like I said, live life. Life short. Grab it. Capture it. Find your camera. Find your fiddle. Find you know, your clay, find your thing, and just do it. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. And uh, I've certainly been looking at your pictures for... I put a few on. Yeah. They're beautiful, though. Thank you for sharing that.